Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. It's 616. Welcome back on your Friday. Yeah, Friday morning and uh, kind of nice out there. Nice right now, yeah. for now. But yeah, for big, now, right. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm sitting here talking about how warm it is yeah. in teens and 20s, but there's somebody out there visiting right now uh -huh. in North Dakota going, what is she talking about? Right. This is warm? <laughs> well, this is warm for us. Yeah. We've had an Arctic blast this week, and we've got another Arctic blast coming in uh, even just a few hours. We're, mm -hmm. we're starting to see temperatures drop down to the single digits. Take a look at the KX Cam in Minot. So this is our, um, our view of the road conditions this morning. We've got a, at least a clear lane there. On Highway 2, you can see the ramp there, still snow-covered. Kind of a slow move for a lot of uh, commuters out there this morning. And we have some snow, uh, kind of a blast of snow that just moved through, and it's trying to move out of the capital city as we speak. Just north of St. Anthony, just north of Huff, we've got this uh, area of heavy snow. So just know that if you're uh, trying to leave town, you're south of Bismarck right now. That's moving to the southeast at about 30 miles per hour. It won't last long, but it could give you some very reduced visibility for a bit here. Uh, and the snow ends just south of Wilton and up towards the north here. Snow beginning to taper in Harvey. It's been down Highway 52 and 2 through much of the night. So we have some snow-covered roads there and it's exiting the Turtle Mountain. So really, bottom line, this is exiting. And once that exits, cold air moves in right behind it. So we're back into the teens and 20s this morning. A single digit there in uh, the Turtle Mountains, but 14 in Medina, 21 in Garrison, 27 in Dickinson. And winds are out of the west now, mostly around 5 to 15. They're shifting to become north Westerly increasing a bit with the passing of this cold front today, and that's going to drop our temperatures. Here's what we're looking at by even just uh, early afternoon, and I even think by noon today we'll see single digits a lot across much of northern North Dakota and some teens. So prepare for the cool down later today by about 6:30. Still looking at very cold single digits across the board here. Overnight, our actual overnight lows will be dropping down to 15 below. Wind chills down to 30 and 35 below. I actually anticipate a wind chill advisory to last through a good part of tomorrow because even by tomorrow afternoon, these temperatures look more like overnight lows. These are daytime highs tomorrow. A lot of sub-zero single digits, and then we're going to carry those colder temperatures into Saturday evening as well. Cloud cover may help us out a little more on Saturday evening. Maybe not as cold, but I still think we're going to see widespread sub-zero temperatures. So bitterly cold temperatures arrive as early as just a few hours from now, believe it or not. Uh, wind speeds are out of the northwest today, uh, 5 to 15 and gusting to 20 and 25. So you'll feel the winds. We've got a dry weather pattern that we're setting up as well. So here's the forecast today that snow moves out of there. The cloud cover will linger for a while, but it clears out overnight, which is another reason why we're going to really plunge tonight. But that Arctic high, you can see these lines here. This is showing you where that high is uh, kind of sinking into the state and bringing the really cold temperatures for Saturday. So prepare for the bitterly cold, but we do warm up for Sunday. Here's the Dickinson three-day, and this happens to be one of the warmer spots in the state. It has been for a few days. We hit 30 early this morning, and that was our daytime high. We won't see that again for a while. Upper single digits on Saturday, back to the mid-20s on Sunday. Williston, another uh, somewhat warm spot here. Uh, upper single digits positive, at least tomorrow, and around 20 on Sunday. Here's the seven-day forecast for Minot, and you can see that Minot is slated to stay around zero, more than likely sub-zero. Dangerous wind chills through the morning, and then we'll have a cold morning, a cold start on Sunday before we start to rebound for those daytime highs into the next work week. And notice, here's Bismarck, notice we really just don't have a lot of chances for snow. We're setting up a dry weather pattern. I think that's good news for a lot of folks out there, and we'll have a good shot at some sunshine, just some cold, cold temperatures, mm -hmm. just not as bitterly cold next week. That's right. If you want to have a white Christmas, well, we already have the snow. Let's there you just go. keep it Let's with the keep temperatures. Keep it right just here. below freezing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's ideal. Yeah. A little safer. <laughs> right. Thanks, Amber. Well, today is the day, the last day, we should say, that you can win a holiday Visa gift card to help with all of your holiday shopping.